Welcome back everyone to Retro Pace Theater and our playthrough of King's Quest 6. Uh, this is Heather here, and here we are in the catacombs on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain. Uh, if you remember from last time, uh, Lord Azure and Lady Ariel have sent me here because of a prophecy that says whoever climbs the Cliffs of Logic will defeat the Minotaur. And the Minotaur has just kidnapped their daughter, Lady Celeste. So, uh, as I mentioned last time, trying to navigate these catacombs without some kind of map is pretty difficult. Um, it's possible to create your own through a series of trial and error, but uh, don't really have time for that kind of thing on a playthrough channel. Um, so I am using, and I believe in getting giving credit, um, so I am on GameFAQ, and I'm using a Catacombs walkthrough by Isis Lily 13. Uh, granted, it's from 2004, so she may not even remember that she did it, but still, uh, looks like a good walkthrough. So we are going to go through these super creepy catacombs here. Nice touch. And bats. Let's see what we've got in here. The remains of several unfortunate souls haunt the room. These bones seem more recent than the ancient catacomb bones that Alexander has seen so far. Perhaps they were victims of the Minotaur. Or perhaps they died while wandering lost in the maze. Three of the skeletons are completely intact. A lone skull lies on the ground among the skeletons. Where the skull came from is a mystery, since the other remains seem to have their skulls intact. Well, we're gonna take this skull. Alexander picks up the skull. Okay, let's get out of this room. Now this next room is a puzzle room. If we kind of that look. tile bears an engraving of a crown. Each one of these an tiles is a different rose has been carved engraving in that on it. Tile. Now the only way to know how to solve this puzzle uh, is kind of similar to the Cliffs of Logic. You have to have the uh, the guidebook to do it. Um, but we'll just go ahead. And it looks like we have to do a rose, a rose, and a rose, and then a scythe, a crown, uh, where did it go, a dove, kind of hard to tell. Where's a dove? Alexander searches for a way to reach the black-haired girl. Yes, I know. That tile is engraved with a skull and crossbones. No. That tile bears the image of a dove. Okay, so that's the one we want. The dove. And then... Skull and crossbone. And there we are. If you step on the wrong thing, I think arrows shoot out of the wall or something. So. Ah! You are human only and not the monster himself. I heard you coming and thought you were the beast. 
Did my father send you here to save me? Why, yes he did, but how did you... Hush, there is no time. I think I have discovered the Minotaur's secret exit from the catacombs. Follow me and we'll both be saved. Yeah, I don't trust that. That's not the real Celeste, so we're just going to go back. And we're going to take this shield here from the wall. Alexander takes the shield from the wall. Okay, let's go. This place has always creeped me out. Skeleton. Niches in the wall form stone burial. Alexander notices that this skeleton has old coins over its eyes. So we're going to take those coins. Alexander finds two coins on the skeleton's eyes. He takes the old coins. All right, Alexander is now into grave robbing. the Minotaur. It's a trap. The doors have sealed Alexander inside. And the ceiling is coming down. Okay, so we need to stop those gears. And that is where this brick comes in. The brick is already heavy enough to carry around without playing with it. I'm not trying in a to desperate play with move. It. Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. The brick is caught between two cogs. The gears shriek and shudder. The mechanism grinds to a halt. The ceiling is stuck. The trap is sprung. Whew. Okay. Alexander seems to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs. Wherever he is, the place sure is dark. Alexander can't even see his hand in front of his face. Now, you only have a limited time here. If you don't use the tinderbox uh, within a certain period of time, you'll die. Alexander takes the candle from his tinderbox and uses the flint in the box to light it. Aha! So that's why it's dark in here. A torch is out. Alexander lights the extinguished torch and puts his tinderbox away. All right. Crisis averted. We'll just keep following the rat here.
Alexander hears the distant sounds of a wild animal somewhere in the maze of rooms. Alexander hears the sound of a wild beast again, this time so loud that the creature itself seems to be in the same room with him. The noises are coming from the other side of the east wall. So if we want to hear what's on the other side of the east wall, or even better, see, we have ourselves a hole in the wall. Alexander puts the hole in the wall on the east wall. The hole in the wall trembles slightly with dread at the clammy feeling of the stones. Alexander peers through the hole in the wall and sees just another room in the catacombs. Aha! Not just another room at all. So that's why Alexander couldn't find the Minotaur's lair. At least Alexander now knows the lair exists, somewhere in the maze on the other side of this wall. While Alexander contemplates what he's just seen, the hole in the wall, frightened by the Minotaur, makes a run for it. Alexander hopes the little creature finds its way home to the Isle of Wonder. Okay. So next time on Retro Peace Theater, we are going to finally deal with the Minotaur. Thanks for watching. <laughs>